Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're taking a look at the Reedy app that you can find in the Windows Store. So what Reedy allows you to do is tie into your Feedly account, which if you don't know Feedly, it um, allows you to sign up for a bunch of different blogs and have the latest posts sent into your Feedly account where you can read them all collectively all at once. So essentially, it's a blog or news aggregator. So once you've signed up for a bunch of different uh, subscriptions, which unfortunately, uh, to my knowledge, you can't do straight within Reedy, um, you can come into the Reedy application, log into your Feedly account, and view all of those uh, blog posts or the blogs themselves as new articles come in. So it's basically doing what uh, Feedly does already, but it's giving it to you in a Windows App Store app format so if you prefer to use apps rather than say going online this might be something that's interesting for you so as you can see on the left hand side we have subscriptions as a drop down hamburger menu as it's called and uh, you can basically see the different categories i've uh, set up for myself so so as you can see by pulling up the subscription tab we have different categories which i have set up on feedly so really once again if you're going to be using this application it's probably because you already use feedly or you have interest in using feedly but uh, feedly allows you to have uh, your blog posts filtered into different categories so here i have do-it-yourself uh, blog posts a whole lot of them tech which i imagine is mostly coming from lifehacker yes and uh, some other categories of uh, posts and you can filter down your blogs uh, your blog posts just by clicking on the category if you are looking for some latest gaming articles from your uh, selected blogs and so on and so forth for the other categories. So that's good because it allows you to look through all the latest articles from the sites you actually care about and trust in a way that only takes a few minutes of time. So one tool that's pretty interesting if you have not really read through your blog posts in a long, long time and you don't want to manually uh, right click them and mark as read for each and every blog post or each and every headline at least, there's actually a tool up here to mark all as read. So if you say scrolled through all of the latest articles and you can see I haven't really done it in a while, um, then you can mark them all as read and basically clear out your feed immediately. If you ever have doubts about whether you are up to date on all of the articles, in other words, if you think that some have been released but aren't showing up here, you always have the sync button, which will go and grab the latest articles and push them back out to Reedy for you once again. And if you want to browse through the different categories, you have a few different options here. For one, you can click on the bar up there or the hamburger menu and just select the category you want to read, or you can click on these navigation arrows over here on the right. And if you want to tab between the different categories of posts, you can click on these navigation arrows over here to the top right. For instance, if we hit right after all items, it's going to give star items. Um, so in Feedly and uh, Reedy as well, you can mark uh, articles that you really like as starred so that you can always go back to them and view them again. And speaking of that, how you would star an article is simply by clicking on it, going up here to the top right and hitting star and unstar. So if we keep tabbing through the other categories, you'll see that it starts going on to the groups I've set up, like architecture articles or design articles or do-it-yourself articles. Now, if you start opening up the articles and reading through them, many articles will just give you the full thing straight in Reedy because that's what the uh, blog owners decided to set it up as. Uh, other blogs may make it so that you need to actually go straight through to the site. But any links that are included in the blog excerpt are going to be included in the display in Reedy. And that includes just clicking on the blog title itself, which will, of course, take you straight to the blog and your browser of choice. And as you would probably expect from any tool that is media-centric, you do have the ability to, of course, share different articles with other people straight from within the app and one of those ways is to go up here where you see the little windows logo and do share with charms which will open the sidebar up inside of windows 10 allowing you to use uh, any of your installed social media applications to do a share directly uh, to that such as twitter and i believe if you installed facebook as well you would see that here but you can also copy the link directly and just paste that wherever you want it to go
what I do really like about this application is how responsive it is. Although you might be scrolling through pages and pages of uh, basically grid-based blog articles that do contain images, as long as you have a decent internet, it's going to respond very well and load in all of the different blog posts as you scroll down and allow you to change between pages without much hassle. So if you're looking for a feed reading application straight on Windows that you can install through the App Store, or especially if you already use Feedly and you want an app to integrate with that, then Reedy should be a cool application for you to go ahead and check out. I've been Chris, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider donating to my Patreon, and I'll see you in my future videos.